All right, so now that we rendered our animations out of Adobe Media Encoder, we are here in Resolum, and I wanna show you guys a couple different techniques on ways that we can add effects, masks, use groups and feedback to leverage some of your animations and get some different looks with them. So how you can take something like this and turn it into this right here is actually very simple. Um, as you can see over here, we got a mirror effect on it. We got a tunnel. And then we also have another mirror effect. And this is adding a completely different look to a animation that we did in After Effects. Now, I do want to point out that this one is not a perfect loop. It is around 40 seconds or so. So... I kind of just keep an eye on that. I usually start this particular animation with this clip, and then when the beat drops, I'll drop this guy right here. It seems to come in really well when the beat picks up and it takes over the whole screen. It's, it's just the colors pop and all. So besides that, um, one way that I do like to mix these is stacking them on top of each other. And I wanna point out one of the ways that I like to leverage using multiple clips on top of each other, if they are full clips and they don't have much alpha channel, is by utilizing a vignette. And as you can see, I'm gonna turn the vignette on and off. It kinda of gives me a little bit of, you see how that bottom layer is shining through on the sides over here? That's the vignette allowing it to do that. And without that, it would be a pretty much a full screen visual. So it gives you a lot more opportunity to mix different clips that are full screen without much alpha. Now, of course, we can stack the hands on top of that. And it just gives you a bunch of different cool looks without much alpha. Now, of course, we can stack the hands on top of that. And it just gives you a bunch of different cool looks. So those are a couple of uh, more intermediate, you know, beginner uh, mixing techniques, I do want to touch on more of an advanced technique. And this is starting to use effects onto it. So video routers and whatnot. And let's go ahead and use this as an example. I'm going to put this 360 VJ up here. This is a free effect. And let's swap these guys. Let's put this there. Now, I want to point out what the 360 VJ is doing. If you'll notice here on the sides, it's kind of given to that fish eye. You see how those hands are splitting out and going back into each other? That super cool effect is the 360 VJ. And it also has a ISF distortion ripples. And I can drop both of these effects for you guys. There is the parameters. If you'd like to copy those, feel free. And yeah, with 2D animation, I mean, this goes with 3D animation really well also, um, but with 2D animation, I love that side look, how they just kind of stretch out and then feed back into each other. Super trippy looking. Um, now let's take that up a notch. Like I said, we're going to the intermediate advanced uh, mixing techniques. Now here, I'm gonna start adding in some feedback Just super subtle, cool feedback. And then I also want to add in a little bit more here. So if you'll notice, we got a group that we're going into up here. So what I wanna point out is we got a mask up here too. So at the top of the group one, we have a mask that is masking everything within this group one, which goes down to layer four. So that means that these two clips right here are being masked. And then that whole package is being fed on top of this, which is the hands. And then we got the feedback that is affecting all of it. And then let's switch the mask up. And this is all audio reactive. So it is going off this, this particular mask is uh, going off my voice right now. So as you can see, you know, the more it's picking up audio, it will keep moving. So yeah, I just wanted to point out the really cool looks that you can get just by playing around with stuff in here. So mixing the grouping technique 
with multiple different layers. Then we got a mask that is audio reactive up here. And then I also have a circular feedback that it has an audio reactivity on it, a couple different parameters that are. And as you can see, the more the audio is picking up, it's shooting more feedback out to the sides. So you got the mask and that effect that's audio reactive. And it just takes a lot of the pressure off of you with having to feel like you need to keep up with the beat or anything when you have parameters that are already mapped out that help you keep the pace. If you made it this whole way through the 2D animation course, I just want to say a special thank you. I hope everyone learned a lot. I sure as heck had a blast making it. If you got questions, feel free to reach out. And yeah, thanks again. We'll see you soon.